Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Gleams of the Morning podcast. I'm your host, David. Today's episode is titled, Faith is Hard. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. But I will maintain mine own ways before him. Job 13.15 KJV Have you ever seen a moose? They are huge. They have long, lanky legs that seem gangly and uncoordinated. When they walk, they tend to lumber along. To the casual observer, they don't appear the most majestic or agile land animal. You wouldn't picture a moose being good at tree climbing or at home on steep rocky slopes. Likewise, you would not think a moose would be at home in the water, certainly not deep water. I mean, would you go swimming with a giant antler contraption connected to your head? But against all odds, moose are very capable swimmers. Despite the 60 pounds of antlers mounted to their head, they can swim at a pace of up to six miles an hour. That may not seem like much at first, until you learn that the average person can only swim at two miles per hour, and Olympic swimmers peak at around five. Moose take to the water to cross streams and bathe. They also seek bodies of water to escape predators. Their long legs and swimming prowess allow them to go much deeper than wolves and other predators. But that's not the only reason they take to lakes and rivers. They also go there to find food. For some unknown reason, they enjoy eating the water plants that grow at the bottom of lakes. They will completely submerge themselves to reach it. And they can stay down for a whole minute. Imagine coming around a corner of the lake in your boat and suddenly seeing a huge head of a moose pop out of the water. That would be a surprise. Even more impressively, moose have been observed diving down in water as deep as 18 feet to reach vegetation. Many humans struggle to dive 10 feet deep. Diving is not their only amazing water athletics. Moose have been recorded swimming as far as 10 miles in search of food. That's farther than most people walk in a day. Moose are not the only scrawny-legged, antler-headed swimmers. Deer are also champion swimmers. Their powerful legs allow them to propel through the water at up to 15 miles per hour. They can also swim at least 10 miles. Deer are not limited to freshwater either. They are known to swim out to islands in the salt water of the Puget Sound off the coast of Seattle, Washington, and all the way up the coast of Alaska. They brave the frigid water, commercial boats, and even predatory whales and orcas. What drives these mammals to swim so far and so deep? Wouldn't simply crossing a deep river be enough to get away from predators? That does seem to be true. Scientists have not found a satisfactory answer to these questions. Nor do they seem to be searching that hard for an answer. It seems it is enough to know that is simply the nature of the moose and the deer. They do it because they can. Perhaps they swim for fun like humans. One day in the future, scientists may discover a deeper reason. But for now, it's okay not to know. You can still admire the grandeur of these majestic mammals. We can marvel at their athletic feats both in the water and out. It is similar with faith. There are many things that happen in our lives and to those around us we don't understand. Why did God allow that car accident or school shooting? Why did God allow me to get sick or to get a bad grade? Why did that church leader hurt those people? It's natural to want answers. But we find in life there often is no good answer. That is why faith is so important. Faith provides the answer for things we don't understand. Why did those bad things happen? Because God 
in his infinite wisdom, saw fit to allow them. It can be very hard to get to a place where we accept that. Gaining a deep faith in God that helps you through the harshest trials of life can be one of the most exigent spiritual lessons we learn. Yet, it is also one of the most rewarding. When you trust God to carry you through the storm, then you can proclaim with Job, Though he slay me, yet I will trust him. This is the faith of a child Jesus talked so much about. Children never have all the answers for why their parents do things. I'm over 30 years old and still sometimes learn why my parents did certain things I never understood growing up. A child simply trusts or has faith that their parents know what is best. But as we grow into adults, we tend to lose that kind of faith. Jesus repeatedly encouraged his followers to regain this type of faith. It can be hard, treacherous, challenging, difficult, painful, uncomfortable even. Did I mention it can be tough and arduous? Sometimes we think we have an unshakable faith in God, then something happens that makes us realize it's not so secure. This can shake us to the core and make us question everything. But the deeper our faith grows, the more comfortable we become with not having all the answers. We can be secure in the unknown. We can accept that's simply the nature of things right now. We live in a sin-filled world, and that's okay because the creator of the universe is in control. He exists outside time and space. They do not impact his character. He is still a good and just God who does understand the reason behind everything. He knows why the moose dives, why the deer swims. He also knows why everything has happened to you. And one day soon, he will set everything right. We just need a little faith in that promise. Here's a question to ponder. You've probably asked God or even begged God to show you why things have happened. But have you ever told God it's okay if he doesn't give you the answer? Try it today. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a review on whatever platform you're listening on. I'd really appreciate it.